Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Premier. Right now, in the middle of a housing crisis, over 60,000 homes across Victoria are sitting empty for most of the week because property investors are able to make sometimes double the amount of rent from leasing their properties through unregulated short-stay platforms like Airbnb. Meanwhile, renters in regional towns and the inner city are facing record low vacancy rates and skyrocketing rents. As more and more families, retired women, young people, essential workers become desperate for a home, will the government make thousands of existing homes available right now for those people struggling to find a place to live by introducing urgent short-stay regulations to cap the number of days that a property can be listed for a short stay? Premier. Uh, I thank the uh, honourable member for Richmond for her question. Uh, and whilst I have no announcements to make today in relation to residential tenancies matters, uh, I will point out to the honourable member that the government is embarked on the nation's biggest ever investment in affordable housing. That's a point of pride for us, and I'll take the opportunity that the honourable member affords me to thank every single worker who's out there as we speak, building thousands of homes uh, for vulnerable Victorians, giving them the security, the safety, the platform to build a better life and to be safe and to be certain and to be uh, secure. Uh, so that's the first point. Uh, the, the Honourable Member, uh, on the issue of the big housing bill, I would, I know question time is not an opportunity for me to ask the Honourable Member a question, but I would ask a favour, please get on to some of those Green political party councillors and ask them, and ask them and if the member for Richmond's not, not, uh, not happy to ask on her own behalf, just say, I asked you to ask them. <laughs> Stop blocking public and community housing. Stop voting against affordable housing for victim survivors of family violence, for First Nations Victorians, for mentally ill Victorians, and for many others who simply want an opportunity to live in local communities that have, for this purpose, the misfortune of being governed by members of the Green political party. You can't, Speaker, you can't, Speaker, be from a show... Oh. Order. Assistant Treasurer will come to order. Member for Paran. <laughs> Member for Paran can leave the chamber for one hour. <laughs> order. When I'm on my feet, the House will come to order. Premier. The member for Richmond, if she could pass that along to all of those Green councillors who steadfastly, consistently, shamefully vote against, frustrate and in some instances have prevented the building of affordable housing to deal with exactly the cohort Order. that the member pretends to Order. care about. Order. Order. On a point of order, member for Brunswick. On relevant speaker, the Premier has blundered off the field and needs to be led back onto the topic of the question. Order. On, a, on the point of order, Leader of the House. Speaker, on the point of order, the question went to the availability of low cost and affordable housing, and the Premier is being entirely relevant to the question and uh, simply pointing out that some more of that housing may well have been available if it were not for the opposition of the Greens political party. The question related to affordable housing, housing and the availability of it, the Premier was being relevant to the question. Thank you very much, Speaker, for that guidance. Uh, I will again make the point. If you want to come into this place, of all places, yes. and ask questions about affordable housing, yes. then you need make to get sure out there and make sure you. that your comrades, your colleagues, uh, those that are in your political party, are actually, and that yes. perhaps that you actually come from a political party that is interested in yes. affordable That's housing. Right. Just get out of the way. Get out of the way. Order. On the order. Order. Member for Melbourne on a point of order. Thank you, Speaker. On a further point of order, the Premier's been in this place long enough to know that question time isn't a time to attack 
uh, members of other parties in this place. Um, I ask the Premier to uh, come back to uh, the question. I've not been here nearly long enough, I reckon. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, the, member for, the member for Richmond also asked me about short stay issues. And I just, with the greatest of respect, she also talks about a number of uh, buildings, a number of homes, a number of facilities that lie empty throughout the week. Now, this question would perhaps have more credibility if the member for Richmond's elected office was open five days a week. If she wasn't running her own little short stay long weekend every single week, this question might have much more credibility. Order on a order on a sub order. Order. On a supplementary question, the member for Richmond. I thank the Premier for detailing the buildings that this government plans to build, but right now 110,000 Victorian households are experiencing rental stress and the crisis is set to get worse. Just yesterday, economists predicted that rents will rise by another 11.5% this year. That's on the 10% that they rose last year, the sharpest annual increase on record. Rental vacancies are at an all-time low of 1%. I hear from renters that are lined up for two blocks to inspect a property, people going to five inspections a day. Desperate people order, tell me order. they're offering... Member for